yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young's going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious smothered potatoes. These smothered potatoes are absolutely amazing. They're so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make it Jeannie Young style, hands down they're going to be so tasty. Here's what you're going to need. You will need some flour. I need some beautiful spices so we can make this thing taste good. We have salt, pepper, parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty, garlic and onion powder, paprika, and we have chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you like. We will be using some vegetable oil. Use what kind of oil you like, and also you're gonna need the star, potatoes, and you're also gonna need a nice sweet Vidalia onion. Making sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Jeannie Young style. So now, if you take a look at my beautiful potatoes, you can see that I've cut them. I tried to cut them all the same size, okay? When you cut them all the same size, it really helps you in the cooking process because they'll all cook at the same cooking time. If you have big ones and then you got little ones, you're gonna have some to get overcooked. So when you try to make them all the same size, it's really gonna help you out. This is chicken broth and this is 32 ounces. Really what I wanted to do was just basically cover the potatoes and we're gonna cook these babies until they're nice and um, half the way cooked. Okay, well, let me, let me just reverse that. I'd really like to cook them right just before they're fork tender. I don't want to make these potatoes be mushy, okay? Because we're gonna do something really special. So when I get the consistency of the potato that I'm looking for, I'm gonna come back and tell you how long I've cooked the potatoes here in this chicken broth. Now normally when you see Jenny Young cooking potatoes, I always salt the water. Since we're using chicken broth, we don't have to salt it today. So when I come back, we're gonna make our way back over to the island. I'll show you what we're gonna do next. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make a smothered potato. This recipe right here, it's fun. It's so fun. The world loves potatoes and I love potatoes myself. And when you mix it with this amazing sauce, gravy so to speak, it is out of sight. Anybody you feed this here recipe to, they're gonna go nuts over this simple recipe. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we need to chop a little bit of onion. You don't need a whole lot of onion because we're not making a lot of potatoes today for this video. But if you are making a lot of potatoes for your recipe when you make it, then you can use a little bit more onion, okay? So the onion, like it's kind of like it's kind of like fried potatoes. That that's what I feel like, and you smother them in gravy. All right, this recipe gonna rock your world. So you can see just about how much onion that I have. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slice those babies just down, slice it, dice it, just like so. You don't have to use too much. All right. So now that we have that. Let's go ahead and take these beautiful onions, put them into the oil. You literally can see how much oil I have there. I wanna turn my heat up a little bit because I want for these onions to really saute up, get nice and soft and get a little bit of color onto them. Once that happens, we're gonna bring our all-purpose flour into the equation and I'm gonna show you how to make this quick and simple roux. And after we make the roux, oh, and there's another ingredient I wanna use. I want to use some heavy whipping cream for this recipe. Now, if for some reason you don't want to use cream in your recipe, you can just omit the cream. That means, you know, don't use it and your gravy will still be absolutely amazing. But I feel like when we put cream into this gravy, it makes it a, a nice light color, right? And it makes that gravy nice and thick. Okay, so keep in mind, if you don't wanna use the heavy cream, you don't have to. So the next time I come back, we're gonna be checking in on our potatoes, looking at our onions to see if we're getting some nice color. Our potatoes have cooked for 12 minutes, and you literally can see that I just had enough oil in the pan, just enough oil to coat the pan. I'm using vegetable oil, and I wanna give these potatoes a nice fry, as if we're making fried potatoes, because that's basically, what we're doing. Just make sure when you take your potatoes out of the water, drain them really nicely 
in a colander so you can get most of the water off of them. That way when you put them into your pan of oil, you don't have a lot of splattering. Have our potatoes behind us cooking up in that oil. They're gonna get nice, beautiful, golden brown. They're gonna get like a crispy crust on the outside. The inside is gonna be light, fluffy, and pillowy and just delicious, right? And so take a look at our onions. They're just beginning to get a golden brown color to them. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a roux. Now listen to me, y'all, let's talk about it. When you're making a roux, it's very important that you use half fat, half flour, whether that be oil or butter and flour, you know, oil, get it right, Gina, oil and flour, or butter and flour, okay? The oil, the oil and the butter is your fat, and then of course your flour. Now, by all means, whatever kind of uh, flour you wanna use, you can use that to make a gravy. You know, you may be using wheat flour, rice flour, you can make a gravy with it. Now, you can see that gradually, I'm pushing the flour in by grabbing a little bit, stir it into the oil, grab a little bit, Stir it into the oil at any time. This should never ever look like plaster. Let's just say it does, right? That means that you may possibly need a little bit more oil to balance it out. This should never be real thick and look like plaster, okay? So once I get done incorporating all of my flour just like so, I'm gonna come back and show you the consistency that we're looking for. Now, this flour must cook for at least three to four minutes to get that raw flour taste cooked out of it, okay? So when I come back, I'm gonna show you the consistency you're looking for. Take a look at that, y'all. Look at it, look at it. It's never clumpy, it's never thick. This is what you call a roux. Now what we need to do, like I said, let's let that raw flour taste cook off. And then I want you to bring in your chicken broth. Your heavy cream is gonna be like a last afterthought. It's gonna make it really, really nice and velvety and smooth and rich. We're using pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder and parsley flakes just to make the gravy nice and beautiful. So I'll be back in about four minutes. Meanwhile at the Young's, we got fried potatoes over here cooking up. I just wanna give them a nice shake and then you can see the ones that have achieved a beautiful golden brown color. We're gonna to continue to cook them just like so. Don't season them just yet. I'll tell you the perfect time that you need to season these potatoes. Putting on seasoning too early can draw water out of the potato and we're not looking for that. What's great about the way I like to make fried potatoes is I love to do that pre-boil. That pre-boil was only for about 12 minutes and it really, help with this cooking process because as we know when you're making homemade fried potatoes they can take forever in a day but when you pre-cook them in the in the boiling water it really helps you look at this beautiful color that we're achieving so now I'd like to say in about five more minutes we're gonna go ahead and season these potatoes with salt pepper garlic and onion powder a little bit of parsley flakes to make them nice and pretty now's the perfect time to season up our roux you can season the roux up uh, once you uh, make it into the gravy. I'm sorry, you can season it when you make your gravy, or you can do it now. Really doesn't matter. It's going with a nice amount of garlic powder, okay? We're gonna put some pepper. I'm gonna also use paprika. This is not smoked paprika, but you know, if you wanted to, absolutely, you could use it. This is onion powder, nice amount and then some salt. We're using a sea salt. You can use salt or you don't have to use it. Okay, let me move these out of my way. Listen, if I haven't said I hope y'all are having a great day today, I really do. I wish you all a great day and a beautiful weekend. Now let's talk about something really quickly. Tomorrow, June 3rd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, DDM's going live, yes. I'm going live, I'm doing a whole live cooking session and you all can cook with me. So I've already put a community post out talking about what we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making smothered turkey cutlets. Yes, smothered turkey cutlets. We're gonna be making um, smothered turkey cutlets 
in gravy. We're gonna make dressing in your favorite vegetables. So if you would like to cook along with me, go over to my community post, check it out, run out, grab all your ingredients, and when you come back, Saturday tomorrow, June 3rd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going live and we're gonna have so much fun after we cook. We're gonna say a prayer, we're gonna eat together, and we're gonna chit chat for a couple hours. Parsley flakes just to make it nice and pretty. And guess what I did? When the camera was off, I went over and I went ahead and seasoned up those potatoes. Because literally, here in about, let's just say five minutes, those potatoes are perfectly done. Like I said, they're gonna have a beautiful crispiness to them. The inside's gonna be light, fluffy, and airy, and delicious. Okay, when you're making a gravy, you want to be pouring and stirring. Kinda like at the same time, okay? And if you need help, get somebody in the household to help you, okay? Grab your neighbor next door. Say, hey, can you do me a favor while I stir? <laughs> can you pour? You know, how, whatever you need to do to get the job done. Look at this, okay? Now literally, turn that heat up just a little bit and literally right before your own eyes, this gravy, oh, it's gonna get nice and thick. And once that happens, we're gonna let it simmer for a little bit and then we're gonna put in just a dash of heavy cream to make it nice and rich. Okay, come on y'all. In we go with the heavy cream. Now, I really want you to look in. Look at this consistency. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Uh-huh, thank you, Heavenly Father. This is such a beautiful gravy, and I'm all excited. Let's put a little bit more heavy cream. <laughs> Ooh, -wee. you wanna get rich? That right there will do the trick. That little bit of dash of heavy cream. Now, I want you all to taste your gravy, see if you're happy with the seasoning before you feed it to your family and friends and loved ones. No matter what you're cooking, taste it. Always taste it, okay, to see if you need more seasoning. And if you taste it and you're happy, then great, right? But if you taste it and you feel like you need a little bit more seasoning, now's the perfect time. Put you some more seasoning. Fix that flavor before you feed it to your family and friends. Look at what we got. <laughs> we got fried potatoes. Yes, we do. We got them Gina Young style. Ooh, you bet we do. Look at that. Girl, you are so, oh my goodness. Mm, mm. You something else in that kitchen, you hear me? Ooh, get you some biscuits. Oh my goodness, get you some grits. Mm -mm -mm. How about some breakfast sausage? Drag you some bacon, drag you some bacon through there. <laughs> All right, listen here, everybody. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this video, my mouth is salivating. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends, tell the whole world what Gina is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And also tell them what I'm doing on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I go live, live cooking sessions with Gina. Be there or be square. I can't remember if I said a prayer. But if I didn't, let's say a quick one once again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and everything you've done and everything you will do in our lives. Thank you for your blessings and your lessons. In Jesus Christ's name, once again, we thank you for this meal. Amen. Amen is right. <laughs> Amen is right. Look at that. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Listen, this right here. Mm, mm, mm. You're looking for a potato recipe, vegetable recipe, breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner recipe. This is it. Make you some bacon on the side and enjoy this. I'm going in. Hold on, you stay right there. Oh, this is so good. This is so creamy and dreamy. So flavorful, so succulent. The potatoes are perfect. Mm. God bless, good night. I'm eating some more.